there are numerous studies, not limited to animal experiments, suggesting that sugar can be as addictive as psychoactive substances. It has been observed that individuals consuming sweetened beverages twice a day are at over a 25% higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes compared to those who avoid such products. Surprisingly, significant sources of sugar include certain types of breakfast cereals marketed as healthy. Moreover, sugar is even added to meat products, such as some sausages and pâtés, which may surprise consumers. Sugar is often cited as one of the greatest health threats lurking on store shelves, and indeed, it has recently made headlines. However, the buzz is not so much about health concerns as it is about its price and availability. Thus, I decided to investigate how much these alarming opinions are grounded in reality. I must admit, the results of my research were more frightening than I had anticipated. It turns out that the average person in England consumes as much as 44 kilograms of sugar annually, which translates to roughly 1 kilogram of sugar every week. Moreover, sugar is found in three quarters of all products available in supermarkets. Even more surprising is that products considered healthy, such as yogurts, even those labeled as light, contain more sugar per unit volume than popular Coca-Cola. The same applies to some products sold as organic, which does not necessarily mean they are healthy. This is an important lesson that not everything that sounds good is indeed good for our health. Surprisingly, one of the main sources of sugar we encounter daily turns out to be breakfast cereals marketed as healthy. In a 100 gram serving of such cereals, you can find up to 6-7 teaspoons of sugar, which is a surprisingly large amount. Moreover, sugar makes its way into products that are not typically associated with high sugar content, such as meat products. For example, sausages and pâtés may contain sugar, further increasing our daily intake of this substance. Paradoxically, while it seems we are buying less pure sugar, we are actually consuming more of it due to its presence in many processed products. Particularly concerning is the fact that the problem of sugar addiction affects even the youngest among us, often due to parents unknowingly promoting unhealthy eating habits. Our bodies are evolutionarily programmed to experience pleasure as a reward for actions beneficial to the individual and the species. And sugar triggers a strong feeling of satisfaction by releasing dopamine in the brain, making it easy to fall into the trap of excessive consumption. This is just the beginning of the process, as each experience of such pleasure creates a strong association in our brain with its source. This leads to an increasing desire to relive those same positive sensations. This mechanism is particularly active when we consume sugar. Its sweet taste signals to our brain the incoming supply of energy, making it particularly tempting. In contrast, other tastes, such as bitter or sour, often serve as warning signals that may indicate spoiled or harmful products. Our instinctive reflex to avoid these tastes has evolutionary roots aimed at protecting our health. This demonstrates how deeply ingrained our responses to different types of tastes are in our biology and how strongly they can influence our eating behaviors. The fact that certain tastes don't trigger our reward system doesn't mean we don't enjoy them. It's just that our brain doesn't activate the reward system in such cases, as it does. For example, when we consume something sweet or even salty, this aspect also deserves special attention. And I plan to dedicate an entire film to it someday. For the same reason, both salt and sugar have addictive properties. The food industry is well aware of this and exploits this knowledge by adding sugar to as many products as possible. As a result, as consumers, we enjoy the taste of these products, often without realizing how this mechanism operates in our brain. This leads us to be unconsciously drawn to products rich in these ingredients, significantly influencing our dietary choices. We often don't realize that our favorite products, like deli meats or cheeses, may contain a significant amount of sugar. This is where the adaptation mechanism, known to humanity since the dawn of time, comes into play. To maintain a constant level of pleasure, the stimulus must be gradually intensified. This leads to a paradoxical situation where, despite buying less pure sugar, we consume more of it through processed products, which become its main source in our diet. Studies, not limited to animal observations, show that sugar can be as addictive as drugs. Experiments on rodents have revealed that sugar can be more addictive than cocaine. And the symptoms of sugar withdrawal in addicted individuals can be very similar to those experienced during drug withdrawal, including irritability, anxiety, and problems with concentration and memory. Such awareness should prompt us to think more deeply about our daily food choices and the subconscious mechanisms that guide our preferences. 
During an experiment at Princeton University conducted by Dr. Carlo Colantuoni, a neurobiologist, fascinating changes occurring in the brain as a result of regular sugar consumption were discovered. These studies indicated a gradual decrease in the number of inhibitory neurons, which, combined with faster and broader neural pathways in the reward system, leads to an increasing demand for larger amounts of sugar. Neurotransmitters such as GABA play a key role in these mechanisms, normally helping to limit the impulse to reach for more servings of sugar. Unfortunately, their action weakens with the regular consumption of sweet products, leading us into a vicious cycle. The more sugar we consume, the stronger the desire for more. Furthermore, the research showed that a diet high in sugar can significantly alter our taste preferences, reducing the sensitivity of taste buds to sugar-free foods. As a result, food becomes less attractive and less satisfying if not sweetened, locking us in a cycle of constant craving for sweetness. This demonstrates the strong impact that sugar can have on our bodies, especially on our brains, influencing not only our behaviors, but also changing our biological predispositions to taste. To not paint the situation in solely bleak colors, it's worth mentioning other studies that shed light on potential positive changes we can make. For instance, a study conducted at Macquarie University in Sydney revealed that individuals on a diet high in sugars often experience disruptions in satiety and hunger mechanisms, leading to the desire to eat even when not physically hungry. Conversely, those who reduced their sugar intake did not tend to overeat and found it easier to achieve a feeling of fullness. Even more promising results came from an experiment at the University of California, which showed that cutting out sugar or significantly reducing it can largely negate the negative effects sugar had on the brain and taste receptors. This proves that our body and mind have the ability to regenerate and adapt. Even after prolonged exposure to adverse factors such as high sugar consumption, these studies offer hope that changing dietary habits and consciously reducing sugar in our diet can not only improve our physical health, but also restore the proper functioning of our brain and satiety system, which in the long run will bring significant benefits to our overall well-being. Incorporating foods into your diet that stimulate the formation of new neural connections in the brain can be extremely helpful in mitigating the negative effects of excessive sugar consumption. Meanwhile, research conducted at the Charité University Hospital in Berlin shows that the adverse changes caused by sugar can also be effectively countered through regular physical activity. Maintaining an active lifestyle is crucial for the health of the brain and body. It's worth noting that the term, sugar, often conjures up the image of the white, crystalline substance we add to drinks or baked goods, known as sucrose. However, from a chemical standpoint, sucrose is just one of many types of sugars, or carbohydrates, which serve as a source and carrier of energy in our body. Carbohydrates are essential for the proper functioning of our organism, provided they are consumed in moderate amounts and come from diverse sources. The natural consumption of sugars is entirely different from an excess of sugar in the diet, especially added sugar. Sugars that we provide to our body through naturally sweet products, like fruits, are definitely a better choice. The analogy of consuming pure sugar to lighting a piece of paper on fire is apt. It initially provides a lot of energy. But this quickly fades, leaving the body with ashes, or a rapid decline in energy levels. Significant fluctuations in blood sugar levels can have adverse health consequences. Fructose, especially that derived from processed sources like high fructose corn syrup, frequently used in the food industry due to its low cost and taste enhancing properties, can be particularly harmful. Although fructose is also present in fruits, its effects in this natural form are milder. The fiber found in fruits slows down sugar absorption, helping to avoid sharp spikes in blood sugar levels. Excessive sugar intake can lead to a range of health problems, including insulin resistance, obesity, type 2 diabetes, liver issues, and other metabolic disorders. It's important to be aware of the amount of sugar consumed daily and to try to limit processed products high in added sugar, opting instead for natural sources of sweetness like fruits. Excessive sugar in our diet can lead to serious health consequences. The risk of developing type 2 diabetes, hypertension, and obesity significantly increases, especially among individuals who regularly consume sweetened beverages. These people have over a 25% higher chance of developing type 2 diabetes compared to those who avoid such products. Moreover, sugar is also associated with a higher risk of certain types of cancer, which is just the beginning of a long list of potential health hazards. 
The issue of overweight and obesity already affects a quarter of the global population, which means about 2 billion people. In the UK, the situation is equally alarming. One in four adults is overweight, and up to 64% of the population is dealing with obesity. The main culprit of this situation is the excess of sugar, which food manufacturers often add to their products, frequently in large amounts. According to the World Health Organization WHO, limiting the intake of added sugars is crucial in combating the global epidemic of overweight and obesity. This message should prompt us all to rethink our daily food choices and seek healthier alternatives. Excessive sugar in the diet contributes to a myriad of health issues that extend beyond body weight concerns. Dental caries is one of the most common effects of excessive sugar consumption. Being the primary cause of tooth loss, especially in children who regularly consume sweetened drinks and snacks. Furthermore, an excessive amount of sugar in the diet increases the risk of heart diseases, which are currently the leading cause of death worldwide. This is partly due to the mass overconsumption of sugar, leading to damage to blood vessels, including those in the brain, and to the overproduction of certain hormones, such as androgens. This, in turn, can result in skin problems, including acne, which often affects young people. Therefore, limiting the intake of added sugars is crucial not only for maintaining a healthy weight, but also for preventing a wide range of diseases and conditions. A mindful approach to diet, promoting balanced consumption of natural sugar sources and limiting high glycemic index products, can significantly improve our overall health and well-being. Excessive sugar in the diet has serious consequences not only for our body but also for brain function. It can lead to a slowdown in cognitive functions, concentration problems, memory issues, and hyperactivity. Research indicates a link between high glucose intake and coordination and motor disorders, especially in children. One of the reasons for such conditions is the impact of excess sugar on the production of neurotransmitters. Substances responsible for communication between nerve cells. Rodent experiments have conclusively shown that sugar affects the activity of hundreds of genes in brain cells, including those involved in metabolic processes, inflammatory responses, and neuronal communication. Sugar also negatively affects the absorption of many essential minerals and nutrients, disrupting various cellular level processes, including the functioning of the immune system. Globally, sugar is one of the most harmful and addictive substances we encounter. Reports indicate that health consequences associated with excessive sugar consumption, including obesity, can shorten the life of an average person by several years. All this emphasizes the importance of consciously limiting sugar intake in our daily diet and maintaining a healthy lifestyle to protect both our body and mind from the negative impact of this substance. Thank you for your attention. And I encourage you to continue exploring this topic and making healthy dietary choices. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel you'll find the subscribe button beneath each video.